So for the past couple of weeks, Matthew and I have been really worried about Kitana. She's having a lot of trouble breathing and when you watch her breathe, you can see her use all her auxiliary muscles and she's really struggling to breathe. And with that being said, she's also coughing, vomiting, sneezing, backward sneezing. She has actually lost a lot of weight. She's missing meals and when she does eat, she only eats a little bit and she's tired all the time. So the last few times that we've taken her to the vets, they've mentioned that it's probably just her allergies flaring up. And if it is her allergies flaring up, she needs to go on different medication. She's on prednisone for her allergies at the moment. And if it's not working, she needs something else. But I reckon it's probably an infection or something because it sounds really bad and it has gotten worse. So this morning, Matthew took Itana to the vets and he mentioned everything that happened in the last few times that we have been to the vet. And Matthew saw one of the vets that I like a lot more. And he did mention that we should do an x-ray just to see what's going on. So he dropped her off this morning and now it's time to go pick her up and hopefully find out what's going on with Kitana. How did everything go with the x-ray? Yeah, you can see it that's all. So it doesn't look like a tooth. Mm -hmm. He said that he's very young, but he said it's not uncommon to see tooth. Too much. Bad wife. He said it doesn't have the shape of a tooth. He said it wasn't too many, but most likely it's a bad wife. So they think that she might have a collapsed lung. If not, it's pneumonia. So we are back home after picking up Kitana. So when we got there, we found out they didn't actually get her x-ray done at all as she was not cooperating. So Matthew went in to get her x-ray done while I watched the kids. And when we got to the consultation room, we got a lot of bad news. So we found out Kitana actually has pneumonia and the news gets worse. There is a possibility that Kitana has a collapsed lung. So right now the vet has recommended that we treat it as she's only got pneumonia. So she's on a strong course of antibiotics for the next 10 days. She's also on bronchodilators to help her breathe and open up her airways. And she's on her prednisone which are her allergy medication. And in about 10 days time to bring her back for a checkup. If she has improved, then there is a possibility that she may not have a collapsed lung. And if she hasn't improved, then we'll take it from there. So when we get her next checkup done in about 10 days, I will update you then.
Yay, Zucky! You're doing it! Yay, Zucky! So right now, Isaac and I are on our way to his cardiologist appointment. So we just got back from Isaac's cardiologist appointment. So as some of you might already know, Isaac is a failure to thrive baby and his pediatrician wanted us to go see a cardiologist just to clear out any heart problems. So at his cardiologist appointment, the cardiologist listened to his heart and he also did an echo. So if you don't already know what an echo is, it's basically like an ultrasound for his heart. So with everything being done, everything came back negative and everything is fine with his heart. So I'm so glad to hear that. So about 10 days ago, Kitana was diagnosed with pneumonia and a possibility of a collapsed lung. The vet said when she finishes her antibiotics to bring her back for a checkup. So that's where we're going now. I've also noticed in the last week or so, in her eyes, there has been like a cloudiness that's been building up in both her eyes. I've noticed it a lot more when her pupils are dilated. So I'm really scared if she's got cataracts or something else. So I'm going to mention it to the vets as well when we go for her checkup. So I'll update you when we get back home. So we are back home after Kitana's checkup and the vet is really happy with how she's improving but I'm not 100% sure if she is back to normal as her body has improved that much in the last 10 days or is her body actually relying on the medication. So the vet has recommended that we keep her on her prednisone which are her allergy medications for another month or so and also the bronchodilators that are helping her breathe and then next month do an x-ray and then compare the difference between both of them and we'll find out then if she does have a collapsed lung or not and um, that's what we're going to do for her now 
And with her eyes, I do have some good news and bad news. Good news is she doesn't have cataracts or glaucoma. Bad news is that she has corneal edema, which is fluid that's building up in her eye. And that's what's causing the cloudiness. So she's going to be on eye drops basically for the rest of her life. So I will update you on her health in a future vlog. Melina, shake. Good girl. Here you go. Kitana, shake. Good girl. Dash. Dash. Here you go. Lovey. Oh, your paw is so wet, honey.
Hi guys, and this is my new haircut. And my Mowgli is hold it and I'll show you around. I gotta fit around one more time. Thanks for watching. Bye! And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Bye! Jacob. What? You are so adorable. And guess what my mom said before? I'm freaking adorable. <laughs> Bye. You are freaking adorable. Hi guys, today we can't go to the normal dog park, so we have to go to the other one. And maybe we're going to go to Kenzie's house today. Bye! What are you doing? Stop now. What were you doing? I'm doing a cool dance. A cool dance? <laughs>